Chris with HobbyKing.com. And guys, it is here. It's time to get your dancing skills out, do a little cabbage patch, maybe a sprinkler. And I'm not talking about my dancing skills. I'm talking about the KK Mini. It is finally here. So let's go ahead and dive into this. Now it has the exact same architecture and structure as the KK 2.1.5. So it has all the same uh, functionality as well as input and output uh, uh, functions on that as well. So um, first thing, let's go ahead and talk about the, uh, the form factor and size. And what we really base this off of is the new form factor and flight controls which is considered 36 millimeters, uh, and that's outside dimensions. So right here, I've got the, the, the everyone's saying I'm pronouncing it wrong, Maze 32, uh, same as CC3D, the mini uh, um, multi-week copters. Anyway, it's 36 millimeters if we take a look on the outside of these. And grab that right there, 36 on the outside, and the mount holes is on the new standard is right at 30 millimeters, or it's actually 30.5 millimeters. And so if we take the new KK Mini and hold it on up, you can see it's the exact same form factor right there. Now what this is really geared for is the new Mini Quads that have become ever popular in the market. But to be honest with you, it's the exact same sensor, same full potential and full control ability of its much bigger brother. So it can, it's pretty much happy on any size quad that you throw it on. Uh, it's just a much smaller, tighter uh, form factor. Now in order to achieve this, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at these side by side. You can see it obviously has a little bit smaller screen. Still retains the ISP, so you'll be able to do your full programming right there. And of course, the eight outputs uh, on that side, full, um, uh, full three pins on that. But where we did have to shave down a little bit was on the input rail. And let me just explain to you how that works. If you want to come on in, I'm going to flip this over, and we've got it clearly labeled. And we've got auxiliary, rudder, elevator, Elron, throttle, voltage, and ground. Now, uh, ground voltage and throttle is in line right in here. So what you would normally do is take a receiver. Now this is our orange 615, which actually has uh, PPM out or CPPM out output, which of course the KK can support. Uh, so I'm taking the single wire out of that. And since the ground is there, I'd just go ground, positive, and uh, signal right there. We've got all our channels, one simple wire, it's plugged right on in, and then our just ESCs are gonna come in over here. So this is an uber clean setup for a small mini quad uh, uh, utilizing this. So now say you don't have a receiver that supports CPPM or DSM, you know, where you're using a satellite uh, directly in as well. Uh, just like the, uh, the its bigger brother had the individual inputs, we have that just on the signal wires. You only need to have one common ground, one common power. So the rest, all you really need to do is just take a servo extension and plug it sideways and go straight over into your receiver. You got uh, essentially kind of like this where, where you can just separate them out. So you're gonna just take that, turn it sideways. So we've already got the initial input on throttle and then here's four more and you just individually plug them into your receiver one by one. So you can see that you still got individual inputs, it all works onto the KK. We just uh, eliminated the common ground and common power because it just wasn't necessary as redundant. So you've got that, and of course we did set it up with the, uh, the throttle input so it's fully compatible for the CPPM. So you can see that is pretty awesome. Uh, as far as form factor, all the inputs are there. Now let's talk about the buzzer. Um, to try and save a little uh, space, we went ahead, and of course the buzzer is included, and it's got a small little uh, mini connector and uh, Going along with that is your single voltage input for your voltage sense. So of course you can set that up for your voltage sense. So when your, your low voltage alarm kicks on, you've still got the buzzer on there. So you can see everything's there and you got your four mini buttons. Now let's grab some specs and just do a comparison uh, in regards to the, uh, the size and weight of the standard Bigger Brother KK. We'll grab that up and that's coming in right at 18.8 .8 grams for that one. And this one, I'll go ahead and pop the buzzer off of it. 8.8 .8 grams. So you can see substantial savings, substantially smaller, uh, super clean install, especially if you're using CPM or satellite in on it. Um, and the one other thing that we wanted to talk about and that I wanted to cover in this video was the screen itself. Uh, with it being smaller, there's obviously going to be concern, well, am I going to be able to see it visually? Uh, am I am actually going to be able to get to these buttons? I mean, it, it is uh, a lot smaller than this is. And this is actually a high res. Now, I mean, it's not really high res, but for its size, it has the same pixel density as, as this uh, screen is. So let me go ahead and power this on and just show you exactly how visible the screen is and how easy it is to get to these buttons. And you realize it has the exact same form factor, uh, same functionality, and, and, and same great userness 
as the, uh, the much bigger brother. Give me one second to plug this in real quick. Okay, so if we just jump in here and I'll just scroll through a couple of the menu screens. And you can see I can scroll down. You can clearly read everything right on the screen, no problems at all. If I jump in here, you can go through your gains. So I'll just go ahead and exit out of this, exit out of this. You can see it's in safe auto level mode. Uh, extremely easy to get to the buttons and the screen because of the higher resolution is ultra clear. You can absolutely read it, no problem at all. So guys, it's up on the new items page. It is absolutely awesome if you're into flying micro quads but like the KK, but obviously the form factor just wasn't there. This is for you if you fly bigger ones and just want a small, clean, light uh, package because you know, you're know you going for endurance flights, whatever. It's there, it's an option for you. Check it out, it's up on the new items page. And as always, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We will see you next time.